Hello there, Cancer. Welcome to my channel. Victoria here, Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your June 2023 money and career reading. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Always grateful for every single one of you. Let's have a look and see what we've got for June and uh, see what energies are coming in. All right. We have Between Worlds coming out here first. And Between Worlds is a little bit of a transitional energy, right? It's where we are not quite done with one situation and we're transitioning in to the next one or a new one, um, or we're just trying to figure out how to leave something behind. So the Between World card can represent an opportunity for change um, and transformation and personal growth, but it can also be windows of opportunity opening up for you to move yourself forward because you're done with a certain situation or a certain way of being or doing things, um, but you're not quite into the next opportunity yet. So maybe some of you are on the quest for something a little bit better. Maybe you do know that something needs to be um, done differently because I can't go on the way I am right now and it's like okay but how do I make that change what do I need to do differently so you might be assessing your situation there but this can be a, um, a month of transition for you on many different levels right maybe there's some things changing in your workplace maybe there's some things that are changing with your money or maybe you're waiting for something to happen some of you might be waiting for some news so when we get the between worlds card it is a reminder that the present energy is here and now and that's what we need to focus on okay one day at a time keep our options open keeps our keep our sights on the future um, but really remember that this is the active energy today, okay, and even if we are looking to transition something, right, the here and the now, in the present, in the moment, that is where the action happens and that's where the opportunity lies. We've got to the sea coming out here as well, and this is a beautiful energy of being in the flow. Don't resist things. Be in the flow. There might be things going on that are not necessarily within your control, Okay, and but what you can control, even if you can't control your environment, what you can control is how you deal with things, right? Like water off a duck's back, okay? Recognize the things that you just need to deal with. So um, to the sea is a wonderful energy of calm, of being in that flow, not resisting things that are going on, being open to change, open to suggestion, and also just dealing with things one day at a time and as they come up. And this is how we move forward. So it can be um, a wonderful energy to be in. Okay. Um, you know, and again, even in the times of chaos, right? You know, if there if there is anything like that going on, right, in the to the sea energy, it's like we're just taking things in stride. We're like, okay, well, let's see, let's see where we go from here and let's just keep on going forward. So it is a very calm energy. It also shows your connection with your higher self, with your intuition, with spirit, okay? And you might even recognize that you are being guided down a path or that there are things happening that are ultimately for your best and highest good, but you just need to keep on trucking, right? One foot in front of the other. Um, but we do have co-create coming in here. So for some of you, there's new opportunities or something new that's brewing on the horizon for you. We've got this egg in this particular deck. The eggs represent something new and or something manifesting. And you can see here in this egg, we have those spots, right? And we have spots on Mr. Cheetah there. So this shows that there's something being manifested in your world, something that you want, something that you want to create. And Spirit says here, one day at a time, okay, there's things that are happening around you. The universe is aligning people, opportunities, situations for your best and highest good, okay? But we need to be focused in the present energy one day at a time. We need to be open to the sea, okay, and be ready to receive and be ready to take action when that time is right and when that opportunity presents itself to us, whatever that happens to be. So the co-create energy reminds us we are always in partnership with spirit in the universe to create the things in our life, right? The universe does its part. We need to do ours as well. Okay. Um, so be open and receptive is a great place to start. 
For some of you with that co-create energy, you could have something very wonderful that does come in for you in the month of June, okay? And for others of you, this is a reminder to be patient, okay? No one likes to be told to be patient, but just trust in the process, okay? Um, and when we're in that energy, a lot of magic does tend to happen, okay? This can also be a great reminder for you to remember that number one, any time is a good time to set intentions to manifest opportunities and things into your reality. You don't need to wait for moon cycles. You don't need to wait um, for anything else, right? Um, if you feel that you're in the right energy to set those intentions, do it. Just do it. Don't don't let anyone tell you otherwise, right? And yes, there's certain times that we wouldn't necessarily engage in that because there's too much chaotic energy that's going around. But the month of June is not necessarily that time, right? So um, this can be a wonderful energy. Listen to your intuition. And if you feel like you're in a good energetic space to set those intentions, just do it. But remember, wherever your focus is, Okay, wherever your energy is, that will manifest into your life. Okay, and so we want to make sure that you are open and receptive and that you're focused on the things that you want, right? Between worlds, right? The blue, the colorful, the wonderful energy, right? Instead of that, that gray, drab, dreary energy, right? Focus on where you want to get to, focus on what you want to create, and focus on the positive things that you want to attract into your world. Okay, um, because ultimately that's where the beauty lies, right? We don't want to accidentally, um, you know, manifest something that is more of what you don't want, right? And it's not a good, not a great thing, but it can happen. So just remember that, okay, always manifest from a place of positivity and abundance because it is wherever you put your energy, okay, that is what is going to expand for you. So we have the moon card, we've got the strength card, and we've got the two of swords. So some of you here, you need to examine something here. The moon can quite often show that there might be something going on behind the scenes, something that isn't quite what it seems, because the moon can bring about illusion. So you might need to really pay attention to the details, especially since we've got the justice card right under that, and that can represent contracts and things like that, okay? It's just that something on the surface, okay, needs further examination, okay? And that justice card can remind you of that. So if you're signing any kind of um, documents, contracts, job contracts, or offers, um, loans, or anything. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, so there might be an offer, an opportunity coming in here for you. Okay, this is just a heads up that the, there might be something there that you need to get clarity on. It doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that someone's doing anything underhanded or you know selling you some snake oil or anything like that. It just means that there are further things that you need to look at behind just the surface. Okay, and if you look at like loan documents and stuff, right? Let's say you want to take out a loan to buy a new car, you want to buy a house, or you know, or you're signing, um, you know, signing a job offer, right? All of those kind of things, you might see certain things that are like, yeah, that looks good. But then what are those? What's the fine print? What are your repayment terms? What is your interest rate? Um, you know, your job offer might say you get three weeks of vacation, but what are the actual details of your job? Do you have time to take three weeks vacation? Or are you going to be run ragged off your feet every moment of every day? Those are some questions that we need to ask, right? What is the workload? That kind of thing. Not that you're shy away from hard work. Okay. But it's one thing. Hey, great. That's wonderful. I get three weeks of vacation a year. That's awesome. But I don't have time to take it. Right. That's kind of a double edged sword. So it's all of those kind of finer details that you just need to really pay attention to, especially since we do have the justice card here. OK, um, very important energy for you. But the moon card is also where we do examine how we feel about things. OK, what is your feelings? What are your intentions? You're connected with the moon. Right. When we do have this uh, energy here. OK, so this can represent you know, manifesting with the moon or just embracing that feminine energy of being open, being open to change, being open to something new, right? Having an open mind, having an open heart, but ultimately your intuition is very much going to be leading you, um, uh, leading you forward this month. And you know, it might be an opportunity for you to fix a situation, to heal a situation, or there is something here where you need to move on from a situation that is just complete and utter chaos, 
Okay, because we do have a three of swords, now it's in the reverse. We do have the tower that is also in the reverse. Okay, so you might be dealing with, some of you might be dealing with the aftermath of something here, and this does require a little bit of strength on your part. You've got that Leo energy coming in, okay? So maybe your intuition is telling you that there's something that's going to go on that you are not going to have control over, okay? Um, and this is shaking things up quite a bit, okay? And you're going to just need your inner strength and your confidence to make it through, okay? Um, so just a little bit of a heads up for some of you, but I think for others of you, I think that you might actually be the instigator of your own change. Okay. And you know, you are looking to move forward from something here that is just not the, not the best situation. Okay. Because sometimes that tower card in reverse, um, can represent that there's the change, the shock, something sudden has already occurred. Okay, and this can be one of two things with the um, three of uh, three of swords coming out in the reverse. This can represent an opportunity for you to break free of a situation where you don't like the changes. They've caused a lot of disappointments, a lot of upsets, things haven't gone your way. And now you have an opportunity to heal, to let go, to move forward. All right. But this can also represent that maybe in the aftermath of some changes that have gone on or some revelations that have gone on, this is actually opening doors of opportunity for you or opening up the opportunity to do things a little bit better and to feel better about your situation, okay? Um, but if you've been feeling stuck in a rut, this is, um, you know, maybe a catalyst that is either happening right before June or probably in June, but you kind of know it's coming. Um, the tower isn't always a surprise because quite often our intuition tells us something. So maybe you are being that mastermind of your own tower moment as we sometimes are, okay, or you are trying to deal with some fallout of something here. And it could have been a revelation that you had with the eclipse, right? That eclipse shook up the, and we're talking the, um, eclipse in Scorpio, um, that happened at the beginning of May, Okay, for some of you, you are still feeling this after effects of it. And that was very, very chaotic for a lot of people. It was intense. I know some people around me have gone through some massive, massive changes and, and they're, they're still dealing with it, right? It's not the best, not the best energy, but it is that catalyst, Okay, that shook them up to the point where it's like, you know what, I gotta do things differently. This isn't gonna work for me anymore. I keep on going around and round in circles and circles, right? So this is your opportunity there to break free. So you could be still still dealing with the aftermath of that, right? Um, and those catalyst moments, they happen, they're done, they're gone, and then the fallout continues, right? But this can really open up some doors for you. And I feel like you have a potential here to turn things around. But again, we do have the justice card. So whatever your situation is, you're thinking logically. You're getting all of the information. You're getting all of the details. You're seeing both sides of the story, right? Whatever that happens to be for you, okay? And then you're making a balanced, fair, informed, unbiased decision. It's like, now that I have all my information, boom, now I can decide what to do. The Justice card does speak to legal situations, right? Speaks to contracts, things that you're obligated towards, things that you sign, right? On the dotted line with the Knight of Pentacles that's here, right? This can be a job offer. This can be a purchase of some sort where you need to sign some paperwork, right? And, you know, so this, for some of you, I for some of you, I actually feel that you're paying off a loan in the month of June. You've worked really hard to get there, but you're paying it off now. Um, for others of you, you are making a purchase and signing that legal, legal documentation. But again, just make sure that you, um, make sure you pay attention to the fine, fine print, right? We always need to do the fine print, but I do also feel justice is served. This honesty and truth is coming in. Maybe you are being really honest with yourself about something. You're gaining clarity, right? You're figuring out how you feel about things. And, um, I think here that there's some better times ahead for you. Okay. So especially if you've been through a little bit of chaotic time, right? Balance, harmony, restored in the justice energy. Okay. Or this is your goal, right? I need to find a new job. I need to move forward so that I can feel like I have a healthier balance in my life. But whatever your situation is, we do have the strength card bringing in you in, bringing you in your inner strength, your ability to discern 
when you need to come out roaring like a lion and take the lead, take charge, take control. But this also gives you the energy of, I know when to take a step back as well. I know when to just be kind and compassionate. I know when I need to be patient and calm. And it's in those times when we can, you know, really kind of get in, get in touch with um, our all of our senses that we know when to be that force to be reckoned with, but also when to take it easy and take that step back, right? And it's a wonderful energy. And I do feel here that whatever you're doing, right, you've got that confidence that you need, right? That strength, that inner strength, right? To open up, to move forward, to make change, to right some wrongs, right? Or to, you know, make important or tough decisions, right? You've got this, okay? Because we do have the two of swords, so there might be some indecisive energy um, that you are dealing with in the month ahead. So maybe you're trying to figure out, can I fix a situation? How do I make more money? Do I need to make change? Is there opportunity where I am, right? Do I want to spend this money? Is this the right opportunity for me? Okay, all of this kind of stuff, right? And so in the two of swords energy, we can sometimes be very much needing to make a very important decision, connecting with your intuition and really going internal is probably what's going to help you in that regard, right? It's like, I just need to, I need to figure something out. I need, how do I feel about this? Okay. How do I think about this? But sometimes we can get tied up in knots with the two of swords because sometimes we look at things quite literally. We look at things in black and white, yes or no, right? Without looking at the gray areas or the possibilities. So not everything is yes or no. Not everything is black or white. Not everything is he said, she said. We've got to look at that middle ground. And quite often in that gray area, that is quite often where some information lies because we're looking at things from a different perspective. We're looking at the potential or the possibilities that are around there, right? And not everything is just that clean cut left or right, black and white, right? We've got to look at that middle ground or maybe even the path less traveled. So it might be something very important that you're trying to decide. Fortunately, you have the justice card bringing you in clarity, okay, to help you make a decision. We've got the Knight of Cups here as well. And you know, the funny thing is we've got two knights. So this may be that you are on a quest for something, right? You are on a quest to make more money, okay? Or um, make more money in a job that you actually love that gives you fulfillment and that makes you happy, right? This can also be that you have something in mind that you want to purchase and this will bring happiness and joy into your life and maybe even some stability into your life, but you're taking your time to make a choice, to make a decision. I do feel that some of you do have a very important choice because you might have a couple of different options, so if you're looking to make more money, right, the Knight of Pentacles, maybe there's something, um, you know, that uh, is available to you where you can commit to the long term, where, you know, you can have steady growth within the company, you can make money, right? But maybe it's boring, right? Maybe it's, you know, it's okay. It brings you a good paycheck. It brings opportunities for you. Um, but maybe there's not a lot of movement necessarily right away, right? Because it is a slow moving energy. Put in the time and effort and eventually you will be rewarded for that. Okay. And then we've got the Knight of Cups, something that really speaks to your heart, something that really can bring you some fulfillment, but maybe something that speaks also to your creative side, but perhaps something that might not necessarily pay you as much at least to start. So you might have a very important decision to make, right? Um, you know, money, or fulfillment and happiness, right? In a perfect world, we would have those two blended into one. And perhaps for some of you, there is a way to make that happen because we do have the Empress coming here as well, bringing you all kinds of wonderful new things into your life. It's a time of creation. It's a time of abundance for you. It's a, a very fertile time to grow your opportunities, to look and see where you can put your money where it can grow, look to see where you can have a job that you can grow and you can make more money, okay? And for some of you with that Empress um, energy there, you might actually have um, a window of opportunity to turn a creative endeavor or project into a money-making venture, thus bringing you the best of both worlds. But maybe there's some things that you need to um, figure out first, right? Um, you know, especially if you want to like expand, say, a home-based business 
and let's say you want to expand it into brick and mortar or maybe you want to move to um, a bigger place of residence so you can have a dedicated space for what you do create and so perhaps here in this energy you need to figure some things out um, knight of pentacles very business right justice legal okay so you could be trying to discover the moon okay um you know things like business licenses right how to file your taxes right all of the legalities that come with expanding your business right if i get a bigger house what can i write off right that kind of thing so there might be some very important legalities that you do need to work through but I feel like here, if you ask the right questions, you take your time, you get all the information that you need, and then a little bit of magic might actually be able to um, happen for you, okay? But that Empress card is beautiful energy bringing you a lot of abundance into your life. You may need to deal with the aftermath of something or you might need to shake something up here a little bit in order to move yourself forward and to get it. Just be aware here, of course, with the Tower and the Three of Swords, both in reverse, okay? This can, this can change a challenge. This can turn a challenge into an opportunity, but it can be something that you also don't see coming, okay? And so trust your instincts. Trust your intuition. Um, if your intuition is telling you that something doesn't feel right or something doesn't seem right, um, or if you get an inclination to all of a sudden pull your money out of the bank, do it. Okay, um, not a financial advisor or anything like that. Of course, not personal reading, right? But if you're seeing red flags, pay attention to those red flags, even if you're just seeing them in your mind's eye, okay? There's a reason for that. Um, so protect your investments, okay? And there might be some shakeups in the banking industry and things like that that do come along. Um, virtual currency, uh, I don't know. Some people are really on board with it. Some people not. I don't know a lot about it. Um, but you hear a lot of positive things, but then you also hear people losing their shirt. So if you get red flags, right, at all, pay attention to that. That is spirit giving you one hell of a heads up. Okay, so let's get your final message here. And we've got number 111, I am creative. Yes, indeed you are. Angels are full, are ready to fully support you in this endeavor so that you can co-create with the universe a life you love. And what it was one of your first cards out? Co-create. Time to create the life that you want. Time to make those changes. Time to blow something out of the water if that's what you need to do. But you first you need to figure out what you truly do want, right? The two of swords, you need to make a decision. Justice card, make sure that you're making the right decision. You have all of the information and then you can move forward in a healthy, positive way. One, one, one. New beginnings, fresh starts, improvements, and actually justice card number uh, 11 there as well. You've got five ones out on the table. Go and look up the meaning of five ones because it doesn't happen very often and wonderful opportunities laying ahead for you guys. I'm going to leave that there for you folks. I hope there was something here for you. And of course, we are going to be entering cancer season, right? Summer solstice, 21st of June. It can be a very magical time for you. Longest day of the year, right? But that you can use that to your advantage, okay? A little bit of extra time on your side, maybe, right? And a great summer of abundance, possibilities, prosperity, and abundance. So, leaving that there for you. I hope there was something here for you. If so, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment in the box down below. All of that activity from you really does help my video get seen. And I truly do appreciate that flick of your finger. Truly do appreciate that support. I hope you guys have a wonderful um, month of June. Um, I thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.